Hi there, I'm uh, Tim Weaver, Managing Editor of CNVG, and I'm also here with Matthew Castle, who is, um, well, you're quite posh now, Matt. You're on Nintendo Gamer, and you're you're actually in charge of Nintendo Associate Gamer. Associate Editor, yeah. What happened there? How did they, how did they I, end up putting you in charge? I don't know. I basically killed my way to the top right, okay, over the good. years, offing them. Okay, so here we got uh, Kid Icarus, and uh, this is a game that we haven't seen for 20 years, and uh, Matt, you're going to tell us why we should care now. I'm going to tell you, well, as, as you can see, for one, it's a very pretty it game. It is very pretty, yeah. Um, basically, what's happened here is this was the game 3DS was announced with way back at E3 2010. You know, they, they, they used this as their big reveal. They decided to revive Kid Icarus uh, under the stewardship of uh, Masahiro Sakurai, who is the bod behind Smash Brothers. Yep. So he's always kind of been one of their sort of more crazy kind of uh, out there sort of thinkers, you know, the, you know, turning mascots into a big brawling game for one. So what he's done here, he's taken Kid Icarus, which on the NES and Game Boy was a... 2D platformer with light RPG elements, and he's turned it into basically a mix of Sin and Punishment style uh, combat, mm. sort of aerial combat, you know, maybe a little bit Space Har Harrier-ish, yeah. if, you're, if you're a bit kind of uh, old school, or Sin and Punishment if you played that on N64 or Wii, um, which, uh, that's, that's the aerial stuff which you're seeing here, because the game's split into two halves, you'll see the, the ground combat in a bit. So up here, you're flying around, you're using the uh, circle pad to move, and mm. you're aiming with the stylus, which is that green. You can see the little green kind of uh, mm. the marker. But obviously, it, it's all based around these huge sort of roller coaster tracks in the sky. You know, you're pulling around. It, it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, um, I mean, I watched it over your over your shoulder while you're playing it in the office, and uh, quite a few times you turned around to me and said, "Look how good this looks." And I thought, "Yeah, right, man, that's right." <laughs> I think that you you become conditioned to how uh, games look on the on on Nintendo Wii and, three, and 3DS, but actually it genuinely did look amazing. Yeah, I'm, what you obviously can't see in this video as well is the 3D because you know the whole game's built around him firing into the screen and things firing out of the screen, which mm. for 3D is pretty great. I mean, all these trails from his bow are currently sort of arcing into the screen, and uh, you know all these hearts are flying out, and uh, you you can also hear. The um, amazing soundtrack mm. of this. That's the classic Kid Icarus theme. It's been redone, and they've got some amazing composers whose names I can't remember because I'm a really unprofessional. Yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> so tell us um, about uh, the. Uh, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way here, which is uh, it's people may struggle initially with the controls. Yeah, that's right. Basically, it's uh, controls with the circle pad, the L button, and the stylus which some people might remember from uh, DS as the, being the first person shooter kind of controls. So you're controlling movement with, with basically the analog stick, firing with the L button, but you're controlling his aim and when you're on the ground, his camera angle with, uh, with the stylus. So you're actually supporting the whole 3DS in your left hand mm. or, or your right hand if you're left-handed, you can play with the Circle Pad Pro, yeah. which um, obviously is, is A, very painful mm. because you've got this weighty system, so much so that Nintendo had to sell it with a stand. It comes with a plastic stand that you put the 3DS on to rest. Right, is which, that not just an acknowledgement that they got it wrong? Um, <laughs> it might be, but th th this is this is the, the this is the crazy thing. I know I've personally developed a new system where I basically sort of wedge developed it into my developed another finger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've mutated a new kind of weird hand that grows yeah. out of my chest. Um, no, I basically wedge it into my leg and it plays fine. It's basically about anything to take the weight off the, yep. the unit. Um, but the the real problem that a lot of people had is on these ground segments that you're seeing here. You're having to control the camera with the analog with with the the stylus basically has a second analog stick so you're having to sort of flick the touch screen which starts the camera spinning and then touching it again to uh, sort of pause the camera right, okay. which is really really hard to put into words uh, but as you can see from this action or I hope you can see I'm doing okay at yeah, this level. yeah it looks like you're doing okay. I'm not dying you can see where all the action is and this was you know I've played the game a lot but it became sort of second nature after a couple of uh, after just a couple of play, uh, a couple of hours, and it's a big game, and it's about about ten hours for the whole single player campaign. Mm. Uh, so you've got time to get used to it. But uh, the, what's really special about this game is that it's uh, it's all built around massive replayability kind of elements. In that it has, for one, it has ninety difficulty modes. Ninety? What? Yeah. Nine oh? Yeah, nine oh. So so what? Um, so so what? It has 90 difficulty modes. They call them intensities. Basically, you set the intensity of the level right. from 0.0 to 9.0. Uh, well, and, and that, that populates point increments. And that populates it with it populates it with more enemies, right. harder hitter enemies, less health. But the idea is that the higher the difficulty you play it on, the higher the intensity. Right. The, okay. uh, the and is, 
Is there a reward for playing it on level 99? Yeah, well, if you play it on level... If you no, play it's on 89. Level Sorry. 9.0 is the highest one. Right. Yeah, you get more hearts, which are like currency, and also the weapons that you pick, are like loot, have got stat uh, sort of criteria and things, right, so stat okay. buffs. So basically, the higher you play it on, the better stash you get, the better stash, the higher you can play it on. Mm. So you actually, to play it on a higher difficulty, you have to gamble your currency. So you say, right. I'll have a go at a level 6 level, but then it says half your currency, and if you die, your currency's gone. Right. So it's kind of this big gambling thing. So you've got 90 difficulty levels, you've got mountains of loot. I mean, there's, a, there's about 100 or so individual weapons, and then near infinite varieties of stats within those weapons. And do you feel compelled to go after those? Oh or? yeah, absolutely, because they're all, they all feel like different weapons, because it's so simple, because basically you're just controlling him, he's only got move, dodge and shoot. Mm. When you plug a new weapon in with like new stat buffers, you really feel what difference they're making. Mm. You know, if you give him a speed boost, he feels like a very different character to how he feels with a club. Some of them can't even shoot, like one of the weapon classes is a club, it doesn't have any projectiles and he just has to hit back other laser projectiles right, so it's okay. like tennis you know it's, right. it's a really creative game um, absolutely gorgeous looking this is a really pretty loading screen I guess um, <laughs> I guess one of the uh, I mean ultimately what people will be you know people who have got 3DS who have been uh, on Nintendo formats for a while who, who love their Nintendo games mm. will be wondering is how does this stand up against the classic Nintendo franchises? Well, I, th I personally think it's one of the freshest Nintendo games I've played in years. It maybe not have the kind of absolute usability friendliness of like a Mario Galaxy, mm. but it's exciting, it's cinematic, I mean, the orchestral score is amazing, the, 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 the effort has gone into the, the graphics alone, you know? Mm. It's a... Uh, the kind of thing a lot of people shout about, you know, that AAA, it's a big blockbuster game, rammed with content, loads of original ideas, it's funny. You know, I think it's a really refreshing change of game from Nintendo. Listen well, Medusa. Your days of darkness are numbered.